Well, welcome back to another episode of Be In Demand. And I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot of questions on, and that is how I work with people. Because a lot of times people see me launch uh, my program, In Demand Signature Speech, and other times they see me launching and mentioning about my private clients. So, but there are a few other ways that you can work with me, and that's what I'm going to be sharing today. So let me just start with one-on-one coaching. Because a lot of people benefit greatly from one-on-one coaching. And my one-on-one coaching programs actually walk people like we do it together. Some of my clients come to me because for private coaching, because they want to get out there speaking because they know it's an amazing form of visibility. And And also they may be shy and quiet and kind of afraid of speaking. You know, that's been what their past has shown them. And instead of believing the past and they want to change their future, kind of like what I did. And they will like, hey, raise their hand and say, I would really like to have a discovery call with you, a sales call, because I want to understand a little bit more about what we could do in a six month container. And during that six-month container, I walk people through my process on how I put speeches together. But I'll tell you about like what the very first coaching call is like, because this is where I want to understand my client. I want to know what are some of your hobbies? What are some of your favorite books? People that you follow, your quotes? What makes you, you? And there's a reason for this because I don't have a cookie cutter approach to coaching or a cookie cutter approach to crafting presentations. I have a very unique process, but the most important thing to having an audience fall in love with you is by you showing up as you, you showing your personality. So for instance, I actually had a client and her and her husband loved renovating homes So she knew a ton about construction and about different tools and about how houses are built. And so we used that in her, in her unique process, in her speeches. And if anything, it's just made people like, really? Like, it's just so damn interesting. And that's the whole point is to make you so interesting. We want your audience to remember you. And if they found out that you were like, really like this, this woman who may may show up looking very girly, like, and, oh, you work with tools, (laughs) you build houses and renovate things like that's super memorable and nobody can duplicate that. And that's the whole point of finding out what your personality is, what you like, what you dislike, some of your experiences from your past. And we're going to use that in your presentation. You know, like people always find it really hard to believe that I'm a reformed, painfully shard girl who couldn't peel my eyes off the floor. And I joke and I say, like, I considered myself to be an expert on tile floors and sneakers. <laughs> but that's basically what I was doing. I was just like looking down at the floor. But people see me like on video, on stages, and they think, oh, wow, you must have been born that way. And it's always hard for people to really wrap their heads around that. The truth of the matter is, I'm a reformed, painfully shy girl, but I'm also living proof that you can teach your nervous system new skills. So that's just the very first session. And whether or not we actually have a speaking event, a speaking opportunity that's on the books, that's on the calendar, there's a couple of things that I do at the same time. One is we're going to get you out there talking that you are able to be hired and booked to be a speaker. So you're actively going to be getting out there to get in front of your ideal audience. Why your ideal audience? Because they are pre-qualified leads for you. You want to, if you, um, for instance, are a home organizer and you love um, helping people like either move, like, but maybe you're, you would answer the question, like, who's your ideal client? And you would say moms, head of the household type moms, you know, who just want to have their home life organized because it helps them be more productive. 
both in the house and also in their office. Well, we're going to make sure we get you in front of audiences that are filled with your with your mom clients and not maybe a bunch of aeronautical engineers. Again, we want to make sure that we always get you in front. So we are actively trying to get you out there along with at the very same time, also crafting a presentation, crafting your signature speech. And a signature speech is, in case this is the first time you've ever are listening to my podcast, it is a speech that you give over and over and over again. And you do learn through my process, I show people how to actually customize the presentation real easily. But when you give the same presentation again and again and again, you get really, really good at giving that presentation again and again and again. (laughs) So that's one of the ways. And it's a six-month container. And a lot of my clients actually re-sign and re-sign, depending on if there's more that they want to work on. Sometimes they just love having that accountability partner, somebody who keeps them on track to continually be reaching out to podcast hosts so that they can get become guests on podcasts. They are getting visible by on like Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. They are constantly getting visible. They are constantly getting booked. And like, then it's like, after you get done being booked, like, what do you do after that? What do you say to the meeting planners? What do you say to your eyes? Because what we want them to do is to refer you. Remember the three C's lead to the three R's. The three C's are you want your presentation to be compelling, captivating, and most importantly, converting. And we want your audience to rave about you, to remember you and refer you. So that's a little highlight of what it's like to work with me one-on-one. And I also have a three-hour intensive. Why the three-hour intensive? I have done three-hour intensives about people who want to do a TED Talk. They're not sure about the application. They're not sure about like what they should talk about or they've been accepted. And now they're trying to put all of these ideas that they have into a 12 to 15 minute presentation. And how do you do that without overwhelming the audience? How do you do that without boring the audience? You know, and so that's what we can do in a three hour timeframe is we can put a presentation together. Sometimes people have also come to me because they've got suddenly booked for a presentation and they're not prepared for it. So what's the best way to get prepared for is to hire someone like myself. And I'm going to walk you through my very simple but unique process on how to put a presentation together so that you can go off and use that presentation. You'll come up with like, instead of like all of these ideas that you want to talk about, I'm going to help you whittle them down. But I'm also going to ask you a lot of questions in the beginning so that you get super clear. So for instance, what are some of those questions? You know, they are, I start with the end in mind. When you're done speaking, when the applause has stopped, what do you want your audience to do? What do you want your audience to feel? What do you want your audience to believe? What do you want them to do differently? That's where we start. So I kind of look at it like your speech is like a gift is a gift to every person that's in that audience. What's inside that gift? I want to know what is the gift you want to give people who are listening to you, who are watching you, you know, or maybe you already have a presentation and you've given it before. And you're like, I really want to take this to the next level. So I've had people show up with like, here's a video recording of a presentation. Give me feedback from the eyes of a professional speaker. Give me the feedback. Like, what can I do different? What can I do better? How can I take this from looking like, yeah, I've been speaking a little bit to, oh my God, this person's been speaking for, it looks like years, even if it's only been a handful of times. I always give the sort of um, feedback and speaking tips that give my clients the biggest bang for their buck because I want you to look like a pro right from the get-go. And all of my clients always say, all of my clients say, 
that when they gave their first speech after working with me, whether it was through an, uh, an intensive or it's from one-on-one -on -one coaching, they felt like they had years of experience under their belt. Because I do share like, here's what can go wrong, but here's how you handle it because you're going to be a pro. And that's something else that I work on with my clients, no matter which program you join or, you know, like one-on-one -on -one coaching or even an intensive, but it's, you got to have the mindset that you're a pro. You're a professional speaker. You're an expert on your topic. And I always want you stepping into that and knowing what you bring to the table, knowing your value that you bring also. So I also have a group program. This is my third offering and it's in-demand signature speech. And you might've heard about the, this. Uh, it's I talk about it a lot. I've brought on a lot of not just private clients, but a lot of clients who've gone through in-demand signature speech. It is a nine week program that takes you step by step by step to crafting a presentation. But the next time I run it, probably this fall, and if you want to get on that wait list, it'll be down below. But in case you're watching this or just listening, it is speakandstandout.com forward slash SS for signature speech. You can get on the wait list. But the next time I run this, I'm probably going to be extending it. So I'm saying probably because I just want to kind of tease you. I'm making it a little bit longer and bringing in a couple of other experts that are going to share their brilliance with you as well, because it's not just about crafting a presentation. It is about that mindset. It is about who you are stepping into as well. So I think we are going to be adding a little bit more of that into this program as well. And then the last way to work with me is actually called In Demand. And In Demand is my membership. It's a monthly membership and there are lots of modules and monthly masterminding, um, if that's even a word, masterminding. But there are lots of modules that are in there like what should your speaker one sheet look like? Why a mailing list and how to start growing your mailing list? That nurture sequence. I mean, some of this sounds like, oh, that sounds like basic marketing, but we want to be constantly reminding our audience, meeting planners, people that hire us, that we are still out there, that we can be booked again and again and again. We want to constantly be reminding people that we are still in business, that we are still speaking. Whether you change your expertise, because like in my time of being in business, I mean, I've gone from life coaching to leadership, to executive coaching, to executive leadership, to now sharing my knowledge about speaking and helping coaches and consultants and service-based professionals use speaking. Speaking is this amazing vehicle to go from being unknown to being very known. You want your message to get out there. Other parts of in demand is also some of the basics, like what is it that you are speaking on? Because I want you to make sure that one, people are willing to pay for it. You love doing this. You love speaking about this. This has got some passion in it. And you have some experience in it as well. And when all three of those come together, you've got a sweet spot. And sometimes it's about changing the wording. Sometimes it's, wow, the wording that you're using is very old school. We want to maybe freshen it up. And so the best example that I have is nobody's hiring a speaker on customer service, but they are hiring speakers on customer engagement. So little twist in the words. So we always want to make sure that we are using the words that our buyer is using so that they don't just pass us over and say, oh, customers, yeah, we don't need customer service. That's not what we want. Because maybe in their mind, it's a little different than the way that you're thinking of it. So that's just one example. But those are the four different ways that I work with clients where, where it goes from done with you to also group programs. Because some of my clients, some of my private clients, they don't want to be a part of a group program because they know themselves. They know that they're not good with group programs. They know that they prefer to work with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And my one-on-one -on -one is very high touch. You have Voxer access to me. You know, we'll have two calls a month 
And you also have Voxer access to me in between sessions. So maybe you just want to check in and just say, hey, Lorianne, I, you know, I reached out to five different podcasts. I pitched myself to those five different podcasts because remember, podcasting is another form of speaking. Might not just be at your local chamber or an association. It might be in somebody's private community. I recently did a special masterclass in somebody's private community, which then sparked this idea. It's like, wow, a lot of people want to understand like how to get on podcasts, to become great guests. So that might be a future program. I'm just sort of teasing you and letting you know that there will be a program that will help you not just get on podcasts, but be an outstanding, amazing guest. Because again, we want people to remember you, refer you, and rave about you. We want all three of those. And uh, me and a special friend of mine who he's been on this podcast before, we are going to be joining forces because he gets a lot of questions about this as well. So that might be a future program that you might be, uh, keep your eyes open for. So those are the different ways to work with me. So if you at all but curious and you want to maybe sit down and talk with me, share with me your situation. What are your goals? Because that's what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you, what are your goals? What are your big goals for your company, for why you're in business, for the impact that you want to have? Because I typically work with people who have big dreams. They have big dreams, big goals, and they want to impact others. So sometimes that is a group program. Sometimes it's just like, I want to work one-on-one. I want you to work with me and let's write this presentation. But maybe you feel like, oh, six months is a long time. It's a big commitment. Do the intensive. Do a three-hour intensive. Gives you a taste for what we can do in six months. It's a little bit like, it's almost like a baby step. And I've had a lot of clients who started off with a three-hour intensive and then moved into six months of coaching. So, but that's all the stuff that we can actually talk about if you jump on a call with me and that's chatwithla.com. And that link is also down below in the show notes. So if you're at all curious to what it's like to work with me, you can also look at my testimonial page that's on my website. You know, you can read some of the case studies, what people have been able to do. And maybe that's in alignment with what you want to do. And I, I can share all this and answer even more questions with you on a call. So again, that, that link to book a call on my calendar is chatwithla.com. And I would love to meet you. I would love to hear about the impact that you want to have. I would love the opportunity for you to start sharing your story for you to share your solutions. Because if there's one thing that I know for sure, and that is that the world needs you, and that there is somebody, many somebodies out there, who need to hear the story that you've been through so that you could save them time. You could save them years. You could save them so much money by just knowing what is the blueprint? What are the steps that I need to take what could be possible? Because sometimes people are stuck in a situation in their life and they just don't know what's on the other side. So till next week, I want you to be in demand. And again, I would love to continue this conversation. So feel free to follow me over on LinkedIn or even Instagram and send me a DM. And let me know. I love hearing from my audience. And I love hearing like, what's the story that you want to tell? Have you ever spoken before? Because no experience necessary when it comes to speaking. So till next week, be in demand. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And join me over in my private Facebook group for more tips, community, and free trainings. You'll find the link in the show notes. You can also help this podcast reach more listeners by leaving a review. And as a thank you, each month I pick one of my reviewers to win a free coaching call with me. So if you haven't done so already, please leave a review and you could be the next winner.